when you said, oh, I've got this $1,800 deal, 2,200. After you got your first couple deals in the program and, and following the process, I guarantee you probably had that moment where you're like, okay, I don't think Nick is as impressive as I did because once you get a $2,000 a month deal, your wheels start to turn and you go, that's how he did 100K. Because I think it's almost unbelievable yeah. when you hear those numbers and you, you, you like you said, you're asking people for 500 bucks and they're like, oh my gosh. But when you get a $2,000, 2,500, like you just need 50 of these like that's it and you could get there or we go a little bigger so i gotta admit like as much as i'm an arrogant piece of shit sometimes it's not that i'm that impressive it's just that i figured out okay at 2000 2500 bucks a month and you do the same process over and over you don't need that yeah. many clients to make a lot of money it's amazing because i've been in this long enough that i have seen all the posts i've seen people doing the posts about oh you know i just made my client all this money oh i just landed this really easy deal and I will believe them. But a lot of times I also just get really pissed because <laughs> I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm like, man, how are these guys doing this? I remember when you joined the group like a year ago, I've been in this group for five years and now you've surpassed me all of a sudden. And it used to kind of really piss me off. I'm getting to the point where I can be much happier for those people because I'm having that trajectory as well. So it feels really good to finally have it come full circle. I've got those texts from my clients saying they made all this money. I've got the Stripe account that shows things going up. I've got my list of clients on the wall. I mean, it's yeah. kind of amazing. The first time I started landing some some deals over a thousand bucks a month, flat fee with the contract. I mean, it's like you said, it's the holy grail of lead gen. And the first time I did it, I was just blown away that it actually worked and that they actually agreed to it and that we're still going strong. It's just an amazing thing when you start to change your mental attitude as to what things are worth. I always say this every time. I wish people could see you in March on our call when we were, you know, talking about, okay, here's what it looks like to work with digital landlords, blah, blah, blah. At the time, it's called Flat Fee Mastery. Dude, just your confidence. And I, I'm not just going to give the beard credit, bro. Although that does help. <laughs> no, on a, like, on a real note, it's so cool to me to see people like your confidence level. You might not have noticed it, but I have noticed it just in our conversation so far is like night and day difference from when they're you're like, yeah, I believe in the business model, but I'm a little uncertain. And like, I do nursing, but I like, I don't love it. And I'm not necessarily proud of it. So now it's like, dude, I make my own money. I set my own schedule. I'm, I can do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. So it's just cool to see yeah. like how this affects people's confidence. And it's not just you, it's me. It's anybody that gets into this, dude. It's, it's really, really cool. Well, it's amazing what happens when you kind of start providing for yourself in a way. I had a friend who a couple years ago, he got got heavily into the Airbnb space, started doing really great. And his wife told me it's been amazing to see the difference in him since he has gotten out of his job. And it was actually a job that he really enjoyed, but he got out of that and started like working his own schedule, doing the things that he wanted to do. And I met with him for lunch at one point and I was, and this was before any of this happened. And I was like, man, you know, I want to be where you're at. I want to figure this out. And I could just, you know, see the joy and and freedom that he had in his life. And I was like, I want that. And it, it really does feel amazing to start getting there. Definitely not all the way there, but to be making the steady progress there. And, you know, I mean, having this as something that I can pass on to my kids, even if it's not the business, but just the attitude, the abilities to go out and build your own business, make your own income, have your own freedom. It's just invaluable. When you make your own money, it automatically, boost your confidence because now it's not like, I don't know about you, but like, dude, recession, not recession. I'm like, cool. I am my own guy. And here's the, here's a one step past that. Not only do you know how to make your own money, but you know how to sell, right? Mm -hmm. Which means you now, like when 2020 happened, dude, I was a heyday for me because I was like, cool, this is awesome. Like, I'm just going to stay up here and work while everyone else is watching the Tiger King or whatever, right? Right. Uh, which admittedly I did watch on a weekend. Yeah, <laughs> Shout out to Tiger King. But um, dude, when you know how to provide make your own money that you're not at a job relying on somebody else and you know how to sell like dude let's be real if you actually buckled down got to work set your schedule and like hey i'm going hard for the next two quarters it's kind of scary to think where you could be because you've yeah. got dude let's be real you've gotten to 12 almost kind of like just by default yeah you put in work but like you've also taken a month off twice which dude, yeah I, i'm not hating i think it's amazing like and everyone listening should be like what can you imagine taking a, a 
month off of nursing, like you wouldn't even be able to live. Oh, I know. Yeah, you would, you would feel it two weeks later when that paycheck is at zero.